So something you may not have noticed before when you're working in Google Sheets or Google Slides is that each sheet in a workbook uh, has its own URL. And I'll show you slides in just a minute. So if I'm looking up at my URL at the top, I can see that there is a number associated with this particular sheet. I have the whole workbook URL and something tagged at the end. Now watch it very carefully when I go to another sheet. You'll see that that changes. I go to another one and that number changes again. So this is important to think about, number one, when you're bookmarking, if you want to go to a particular sheet, you need to make sure you bookmark that particular sheet. And also when you're sending it to someone. So I have a workbook here with three different sheets, but maybe only one of them is important for what I'm referring to in an email to a colleague. If I want them to just look at that particular sheet, I can copy that URL and it will take them directly to that sheet. So I'll show you an example. I have that URL and I'm going to paste it. It opens the same workbook, but it's going to a particular sheet in that workbook. Now, if I were to go over to my workbook and say, no, I want to use this first one, I can copy that, paste it. And you'll see that it takes me to the exact sheet that I want someone to go to. Now, something else that's very cool and very new is that you can now even link to particular cells. So if you are referring to a piece or smaller piece of information within a giant workbook or a giant uh, sheet filled with information, you can select a certain amount of cells. When you right click on them, you can go down to get link to this range. So what it does is it copies the link to those particular cells or that particular range of cells into your clipboard. And then when you go in and use that URL, you'll see that it will take you right to it. Now, I didn't choose the best uh, example. Oh, there we go. It, you can see it moved over a little bit. But if you have something with thousands and thousands of rows or columns, uh, this is a particularly cool thing so that whoever you're sharing this URL with goes directly to the data that you want them to see. Again, you select those cells, you right click, you go down to get link to this cell, and then that will get copied to your clipboard. I mentioned slides at the beginning of this video, so I want to go over to a presentation. Now in presentations, you'll notice again, you have your URL, but then you also have some things at the end. Now watch as I go to different slides. I can see that that changes depending on whichever slide it is. What's great is that you can move them around, but that URL is still associated with that particular slide. So again, with bookmarking, you want to make sure that you're bookmarked on whichever slides you want to start on whenever you click on that bookmark. And it's also cool when sharing. I want someone to make sure they see that. I can use that particular URL to get to a certain slide in the presentation so that my collaborators will go to whatever it is that I need them to see and need them to look at. It takes you right to that particular slide and not back to the beginning. So those are unique sheet URLs and slide URLs when you are working in Google Drive.